And um, it was wonderful to listen to you. Thank you for your testimony. Um, I'm here to say that that in no way are, is more of a police presence on TriMet the thing to do. Um, I understand that people are upset, that people are um, freaked out that we had the murders that we had on, on TriMet. I get that. The answer to that is not police who are overarmed, who are overzealous, who are overcaffeinated, and for all we know, overdrugged, on, the, on TriMet, terrorizing the black community and the Hispanic community and the low-income community and the houseless community with their authoritative view of how things should be. What we know since we've brought on more police onto TriMet is that more people have been thrown off TriMet for reasons that were actually illegal. You cannot go on TriMet and harass people. That's what the police are doing. They're terrorizing communities of color. Um, what I know firsthand is that community, the people in communities of color here are afraid now to go on to TriMet, which is their mode of transportation, because of the police presence. It's not as much as they're afraid of another um, Christian showing up and doing what he did. They're afraid of the police. The reason that they are afraid of the police is that the police, as I said, are racist. We know this. There's racist policies. There's targeting. This happens on TriMet. This happens every day on TriMet. I told in testimony last week at City Council to Mayor Ted Wheeler that the new policy for bringing in more police, more armed police on TriMet was created by white people who are wealthy, who ha don't ride TriMet, who have no idea what it's like for people of color on TriMet who are coming from far away, who have to ride on a uh, bus or a train with the police. I told him that it's like terrorism. And we need to start to address this. This is not hyperbole. When you are in a community that, is, that kills your kids, and it's the cops killing your kids, and you're in a community where those cops kill your kids and walk free, like in the case of Terrell Johnson, shame. Shame on everybody for allowing that to happen. We will not tolerate one more moment of more police, more of a police state, not only in our city, but also on TriMet. It has to change. You need to talk with us. You need to talk with the community. You need to bring in a massive town hall with people from the community so you can understand what this is like for people.